Following his historic third indictment, Donald Trump pleading not guilty to charges that he attempted to disrupt the peaceful transfer of power following the 2020 election. And despite the mounting charges against the former president, many of his fellow Republicans continue to support him. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live in Washington with the latest on this third indictment. Ben. Nicole, about an hour ago, Trump did enter a not guilty plea in the superseding indictment in the classified documents case in Florida. So that means in 24 hours, two not guilty pleas. And it comes as he prepares for his next hearing later this month. Former President Donald Trump is back on the campaign trail Friday, one day after pleading not guilty to four felony counts for allegedly trying to overturn the 2020 election. Each count from conspiracy to defraud the U.S. to conspiracy against rights carries a max of up to 5 to 20 years in prison. The former commander chief was released under conditions to not violate federal or state laws, must appear in court as required, sign an appearance bond, and have no contact about the facts of the case with witnesses, except through counsel. This is the persecution of the person that's leading by very, very substantial numbers in the Republican primary. Trump's next hearing is August 28th, five days after the first Republican primary debate. Donald Trump with a triple crown indictment. South Florida Representative Jared Moskowitz says at this point the GOP race is frozen, as despite the mounting legal troubles, Trump continues to top the polls for the 2024 Republican nominee. Donald Trump has indictment momentum. Every time he gets indicted, his poll numbers go up. He raises another four or five, six million dollars. And again, Trump does not plan to attend that first Republican debate. He will be in Alabama tonight for a GOP summer event. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Thank you, Ben.